Uh, hello, everyone. Yeah, good morning. Uh, it's my pleasure to present my work previews. Uh, the title of my presentation is Architecture for Elastic Metal Material for Sound Definition Enhancement in a Low Frequency Range and uh, Application to the Sensors and uh, Vision Panels. Uh, before, I work with uh, Nicola Dosh from uh, University of Technology of Compiègne and uh, Bonolini uh, from the Chomegan in Paris. Okay, now uh, let's get started. Okay, uh, I just like to give some little background. Uh, as we know, the, the passive treatment is a less, a less efficiency than the active uh, absorber in the low frequency range here. And the active treatment it is uh, uh, better, but it's linked to uh, uh, the energy and the uh, cost. So uh, with so the passive treatment is still quite important for, the, for this region. Uh, the coarse materials are widely used as a passive absorber. Mm. We would like to see if uh, the acoustic metal material is a potential solution to improve the uh, sound uh, absorp absorption in the low frequency. Uh, this, pro this configuration is proposed by the Jump Lee. Uh, he combined the uh, famous running and the home, uh, and continuous force so that he could uh, achieve the higher sound absorption in a low frequency. Also, Due to the trip the mode, it would also achieve the sound acoustic uh, sound absorption enhancement. <clears throat> uh, this this structure is uh, proposed by us. Uh, we measure the sound absorption and the different uh, distance angle. Uh, we can see there is uh, additional sound absorption here on this region. Uh, which is related to the spectral remnants of the over spectra. Yes. Uh, now we would like to uh, see if this structure is uh, works uh, works in the duct. Okay, this is all sample, which is uh, made up of uh, the memory form and the air gap due to the existence of the air gap, which allowed to have the uh, extension of the structural remnants. Then we move this structure into the duct on this region. Um, at the both end of the duct, there are three sections. Each section has uh, 12 microphones. At the end of the uh, microphone section, there are 10 different uh, sort positions, which allow to measure the uh, amplitude of the 10 modes. The, sorry. The maximum frequency is uh, 3,500 hertz. Okay. We propose uh, several configurations, continuous layer and uh, the parallel configuration, which means the axis of the lamina, which uh, is parallel to the axis of the uh, duct and the perpendicular case. Uh, this one. Okay, now that is already the uh, extended result uh, for the parallel case and the homogeneous case. We can observe there are some peaks around 800 hertz, which is related to the uh, sharing relevance of the structure. For the particular case, uh, there is a peak around 400 hertz. Which is related to the pending uh, remnants of the structure. <coughs> now we'd like to see what happened inside. Uh, we do it in through the fan and in the in the math lab. <coughs> in the this region, uh, the yellow region, which is a uh, coarse region, and we just uh, employ the uh, BLA equation. And uh, in this region, just air domain is just the plus equation. And uh, at the post end of the duct, 
because it's uh, no reflection boundary condition. So we applied the DTM boundary condition on these two boundaries. Mm, this is the conclusion between the experiment and the numerical results. What we can see is uh, mm, a good agreement generally can be observed for the experiment and the numerical results. <coughs> For this region, I would like to show you the sharing remnants. What is the sharing remnants of the structure? Okay. Then we would like to do some parametric study uh, compared to the pre, uh, former for, uh, model, which is a quite time cost. Uh, since for one frequency it cost uh, five, five millimeter, uh, five minutes. So we take advantage of the periodicity of all model in the x direction and the y direction. Uh, yeah, we 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 build the periodic model for that, and then we compare the results from the four model and the periodic model. Uh, they have the general, uh, they have the similar trend, but there are some differences, which is uh, due um, related to the um, the boundary condition, because in the, in the four model it's not uh, totally infinite. Yeah, so, but this block model, which it could be uh, used to predict the attenuation for all the structure. Then uh, we compare the result for, for the uh, different young modules for all structure. What we can see is uh, uh, the random frequency, which is uh, proportional to the square root of the young modules. Was predicted in the theoretical uh, formula. <clears throat> and for the impact of the air gap, we can see the dimension of the air gap has a great impact on the acoustic dimension for both phase, like the parallel phase and the periodic phase, especially in the high frequencies. <clears throat> the loss factor, yeah, it means uh, we can see the uh, reducing loss factor tend to produce the higher peak around the red frequency here. <clears throat> then we, what we do is we employ the Python package to derive the expected <coughs> point for the uh, parametric uh, plane. For instance, like the modules, because we can see the, uh, if we would like to increase the uh, attenuation for this region, we need to move the peak here. I, I mean, we need to make the approach for these two peaks. So, which is a <coughs> concept to the exception point, and the way it is uh, for the young modules. Okay. <coughs> hmm. A little, a little bit conclusion for this part. <clears throat> I just what is what is the matter for this part is just the nominal network and the definition uh, for the log frequency, <clears throat> which is related to the structural remnants extension. Uh, then we would like to move to the panel. Uh, I mean, the, some transmission of the panel structure. Uh, we employ the transport matrix method. Uh, why we do this, uh, 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 I mean, research? Because uh, we know there are some weakness for the some transmission loss for the final single panel. For instance, like this P, uh, this P, and this P. And this P, it uh, corresponds to the first remnants of the structure. And this P, it corresponds to the coincidence frequency. Uh, below the this, this frequency, which is uh, controlled by the steepness, and above this frequency, which is controlled by the mass, 
mass, I mean the, the phase density. <coughs> For the lift in the double panel, it's a, it's a thing. It's a it's a very it's a similar run, uh, frequency, which is called which is called the uh, mass free mass random frequency. Uh, normally, the uh, normally people when introduce some force in the cavity, since uh, the force could in, improve. I mean, the sound creation in high frequency, for instance, like this curve. Uh, this 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 curve is correspond to the the dark panel with pores, and this curve is which correspond to the uh, dark panel, panel without pores. Yeah, and the second effect is uh, one way increase uh, one way introduce uh, pores inside the cavity, uh, which can produce the decoupling <coughs> effect. Which means um, without pores, the mass free mass run frequency, which is related to the instant angle. But when the force is introduced, the uh, I mean the, the the frequency is almost independent to the instant angle. <clears throat> so we we apply the mass green gravity on the homogeneous uh, plate, uh, which could be treated as a periodic. Uh, Model like this, we treat this one as a new scale, and we can generally get uh, the wave equation for this one, which is, which is quite plus in the general conclusion. <coughs> uh, sorry, the solution should be uh, can be expressed in this way, and based on the continuity of the displacement, uh, sharing force and momentum, and the a reflect, um, angular rejection, we can uh, uh, propose the, the transfer matrix here. And uh, the C is what we would like to obtain. This, this matrix is it's, uh, it's called form to the bare beam. And for the point uh, solution, uh, point K, Point part, this one, this part, P2 and P3, we also can take the continuity of the uh, sharing force. And we can obtain the trust matrix for this part. Then uh, we can just uh, simplify the mod multiply the two matrix to obtain the global matrix for this unit scale. <coughs> Uh, thanks to the uh, periodical point, uh, condition, we can employ any employee the block theory, which means the the vector on the left side, which could be expressed as the vector on the right side, multiplying uh, a phase shift <coughs> like this, and we substitute this equation to the, uh, the equation ten. Which can produce the um, eigenvalue problem, so that we can obtain the uh, uh, the wave number. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we found the uh, four wave number for all problem. What we can see is generally the uh, the, the wave number four wave number. As, as, uh, yeah, which is almost a uh, equal, so that which, which allows us to obtain the effective wave number through solving this equation, which is the trace of the global, uh, global matrix. <clears throat> so that we can obtain the effective steepness through this equation and the effective density through this equation. and uh, we can see um, the effective density show the stronger fluctuation than the steepness. This is the uh, effective uh, density. <clears throat> mm. 
uh, we compute the transmission loss of the double panel with uh, the partition to over Modena. Uh, this is uh, one of the example we can when the uh, running is uh, applied, the more than 20 gigabit improvement can be observed for the double panel configuration. Uh, <clears throat> then we give some uh, calculation on all model, for instance, that the loss factor and the mass ratio, uh, the amplitude of the transmission loss enhancement increase or the loss factor decrease like this. And uh, when we increase the mass ratio, we can see the, the bandwidth and the amplitude of the transmission loss around this region is increased. This is the distillation for our problem. <clears throat> we can normally we can see that uh, bandwidth, but it's very narrow for this problem. <clears throat> we could also apply the, uh, I mean, the different variant, I mean, different kinds of variants on the unit uh, cell. <clears throat> okay, this is the conclusion for this part. Uh, Uh, what, what is important is uh, the rarity can significantly improve the sound distribution performance around the decoupling frequency for the double panel problem. And the enhancement is very sensitive to uh, loss factor and the mass ratio. Then, on the last part, uh, it's, uh, we would like to apply the very elastic amount material on the double panel partition to see if it can solve, if it can improve the sound solution. Because there are already several uh, people, they are they did some similar job for that. This is we did the experiment in the same. Uh, Configuration, but before it's a panel. Uh, what we use, we put this panel on this region here. Then we can measure the transmission loss. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, the poroelastic granite. Uh, this material is uh, uh, it's not the normal. I mean, it's not the the material we used before because. Here we use the compressed material because it uh, has a higher quality factor. Uh, and the airflow resistivity is a little bit high compared to the normal force. <clears throat> this is the uh, expanded result for the transmission loss of the panel with or without remit. But we can see it's on this region. Uh, this with curve, which will create the panel with the uh, gravity. We can observe the sound um, transmission loss enhancement on this region. <clears throat> okay, well, uh, we'd like to see if we can uh, broadband, I mean, the extend our uh, enhancement in the, in the frequency range. We here we use the different uh, um, length span, uh, sorry, span length for D1 and D2, so that we this is the over sample. So that this is a result, corresponding result. We can the two kinds of four peaks, which correspond to the two uh, relays. And <clears throat> Now, this is a numerical part for this configuration. Uh, it's also uh, implemented in the MATLAB. <clears throat> okay, there's the only difference is uh, this part, I mean, the, the panel part, which is we just employ the classic uh, elastic equation for this part. <clears throat> Mm. 
this is this result is correspond to the the pair panel. I mean the single panel. We can see there is a B here, uh, which is related to the remnants, the first remnants of the panel, as you can see here. Uh, this result, which is correspond to the the panel with the remnant, we can observe some enhancement transmission loss around this around this frequency and. Um, <clears throat> and this uh, enhancement, which is related to the bending awareness of the phenomena, like this, this is the corresponding force bending. Now we'd like to see what happened for the uh, reflected, transmitted, and dissipated power in the other. <laughs> this peak, uh, this figure is uh, for the uh, bare panel, what we can see around the red frequency, the most of power is uh, transmitted here. And when the force, I mean, the reality is introduced, um, the power uh, reflects the power and the dissipated power, the black dashed line, both of them are uh, increased. But the transmitted power is. Uh, Decrease. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, some um, some energy dissipation in the in the force domain and the uh, elastic domain. Uh, we can see around the random frequency the the port, um, the some dissipation in the force domain, which is uh, just an uh, Drastically enhanced around for this. And it, um, as we know, in the post, uh, in the post um, domain, there are three uh, dispersions, like the structural viscose and the thermal. Uh, this way I plot it, I plot them here. <clears throat> we can see around the red frequency, the structure here, the red line, and the, the, the viscose. Uh, which is uh, um, towards the line, uh, both of them are boosted. Yeah. And the, in fact, the structure anticipation here is uh, the dominating because the, they are plotted in the low scale. Mm, okay. <clears throat> okay. We, before we, Plot it in the single panel. Now we move it to the double panel, like this. We put the lambda uh, on the in the cavity <clears throat> because in the, this direction and this direction they are the infinity. We can fit it infinity so that we can uh, uh, build a simplified model. To, to do the computation <clears throat> like this. Uh, <clears throat> okay, this is the comparison for the uh, transmission loss of the bare panel, beta panel, and the double panel with uh, the pulse remnant, this is, which is the red line here, and the 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 panel with the continuous uh, pores, which is uh, uh, the black dashed line here. Um, what we can see here is generally uh, compared to the uh, bare panel, <coughs> when the pores, uh, I mean, the, when the pores is a poro uh, elastic, poro elastic reality is introduced. Uh, which can obtain the better some attenuation above the mass screen, mass frame, as you can see, like this one, uh, because the red line is higher than the blue. Uh, compared to the homogeneous um, force, uh, we can see the 
around the random frequency, which could uh, uh, achieve the, the transmission loss enhancement here. <clears throat> and this is the um, dissipation in the first domain. This cause uh, thermal and the structural uh, different with uh, single panel. Uh, on the dark panel, uh, three of them, all of them are boosted around this region. But the structure dissipation is still the dominating one. Okay, uh, I think this is uh, all I want to present to you. Thanks for your attention.